the sacrament of baptism, its signs and symbols. The first sacrament of Christian initiation is baptism. The word comes from the Greek baptizian, which means plunge or immerse. Being plunged into water symbolizes the person's burial into Christ's death and rising like Christ into a new creation. Baptism is the foundational sacrament and the prerequisite for all other sacraments. It incorporates us into Christ and into God's people. Baptism is the basis of the whole Christian life. As we are born of the water and the Spirit, it is necessary for salvation. John 3 verse 5 It brings about forgiveness of sins and conveys a permanent sign that a new Christian is a child of God. Jesus himself was baptized in the Jordan River by John the Baptist. Mark 1 verses 9 to 11 Jesus affirmed the necessity of baptism for our salvation when he told Nicodemus, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. From baptizing adults, the early Christian communities began including children as they understood the words of Jesus, Let the children come to me and do not prevent them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Luke 18 verse 16 The practice of baptizing children and adults is based on the scriptures and apostolic traditions. It is considered as a tradition received from the apostles according to Origen and later St. Augustine. Baptism is administered by pouring water on the head and at the same time pronouncing the Trinitarian formula, I baptize to you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The infant or candidate is then anointed with sacred chrism. Who can be baptized? Every unbaptized person and only such a person can be baptized. Anyone who is already validly baptized may never be baptized again for any reason. What are the effects of baptism? The journey of faith begins with baptism. It is the gateway by giving access to the other sacraments. 2. The effects of spiritual and ecclesial dimensions in our life. 1. Baptism forgives sins, conforms us to Christ, and allows us to enter into the supernatural life of grace in communion with the Holy Trinity. 2. We become the members of the body of Christ, the Church. 3. Baptism makes us the sharers of the threefold mission of Christ, priestly, prophetic, and kingly. 4. Baptism is the seal to eternal life. Baptism imprints on the soul an indelible spiritual sign, the character which consecrates the baptized person for Christian worship. Signs and Symbols of Baptism The priest will trace the cross on the forehead of the baby and invite the parents and godparents to do the same. The cross is a reminder of the love of Christ who gave his life for his friends. The tracing of a cross on the forehead of the person being baptized is an invisible branding that says, You belong to Christ. 
The sign of the cross on the threshold of the celebration marks with the imprint of Christ, the one who is going to belong to Him, and signifies the grace of the redemption Christ won for us by His cross. The Oil of the Catechumens It is called the Oil of the Catechumens because it is for those who are about to receive baptism. It is intended to help strengthen the person about to be baptized and prepare them for the struggle of the Christian life. It declares the baptized as a soldier of the faith and a champion of Christendom. The oil of catechumens is an olive oil specially blessed by a bishop or a priest at the Mass of Chrism, which takes place on Holy Thursday. In administering the sacraments in which holy oils must be used, the minister must use oils pressed from olives and without prejudice to the prescript of Canon 999, number 2, consecrated or blessed recently by a bishop. He is not to use all oils unless it is necessary. The pastor is to obtain the holy oils from his own bishop and is to preserve them diligently with proper care. Anointing before baptism During the baptismal rite, the priest says the following words as he anoints with the oil in the shape of a cross on the chest. We anoint you with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ our Savior. May he strengthen you with his power, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Sacred Chrism this second oil is called chrism, composed of olive oil and balsam or fragrance. It is also blessed by a bishop or a priest at the Mass of Chrism, which takes place on Holy Thursday. It is a prefiguration of the time when the child will be confirmed by the bishop later on in life. The bishop anointing at baptism or priest places a hand on the person's head and makes the sign of the cross with chrism. During this action, the following words are said. The name, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. And the people respond, Amen. The anointing with sacred chrism, perfumed oil consecrated by the bishop, signifies the gift of the Holy Spirit to the newly baptized, who has become a Christian, that is, one anointed by the Holy Spirit, incorporated into Christ, who is anointed priest, prophet, and king. Baptismal Font the baptismal font or pool is a focal point in the church. It is often stands near a main entrance, reminding us that baptism is the gateway into the church. A font with flowing water demonstrates water's refreshing and cleansing qualities. An immersion pool represents both the tomb from which Christ rose in glory and the waters from which we receive eternal life. Canon 858 states that every parish church is to have a baptismal font without prejudice to the cumulative rite already acquired by other churches. Seashell A seashell is sometimes used to cup and pour the water during baptism. It is one of the most common symbols of St. James, who reportedly used a seashell to baptize his converts in Spain. 
The seashell is often pictured with three drops of water, which represent the Trinity. The Ephatha Ephatha is an Aramaic word, the language spoken by Jesus, and it means be open. It is an invitation to open the doors of the heart and let Christ in and His Gospel in His life. The Ephatha ritual is optional in modern baptisms. If done, the priest touches the child's ears and mouth with his thumb, ears to receive Christ's word, and mouth to proclaim his faith to the praise and glory of God. Dove The dove is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. When Jesus was baptized, the heavens were opened, and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in the form of a dove. And every person who is baptized receives the same Holy Spirit. Jesus baptizes with the Holy Spirit. Cairo A Cairo is one of the earliest forms of Christogram. A Cairo or a cross is often displayed on the font or other items associated with baptism. The chi is the Greek letter equivalent to the English letter CH, and the ra is the Greek letter equivalent to English letter R, and together are the first two letters of the Greek word for Christ. Both the monogram and the cross represent Jesus, in whose name disciples are baptized. The community or assembly. The first symbol of Christian life in the baptismal ceremony is the assembled community of faith, the people of God, which welcomes the child and incorporates her into itself. The godparents who represent this community promise to support the parents in forming the child in the faith. It's so far as possible, a person to be baptized is to be given a sponsor who assists an adult in Christian initiation or together with the parents presents an infant for baptism. A sponsor also helps the baptized person to lead a Christian life in keeping with baptism and to fulfill faithfully the obligations inherent in it.